Welcome to MathSolve. In this video, we are going to look at how to expand a bracket in algebraic expression by using the distributive law. So, if I tell you the distributive law, what it is? Distributive law. If we have a times b plus c in a bracket, we can multiply a with b, so which is a times b plus that plus, then a times c. That's called distributive law. Same like if I said uh, 2 of 10 plus 3, and we know that this is basically uh, 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 times 2 is 26. We can write down this one in terms of by using the distributive law. So 2 times 10 plus 2 times 3. So again, 2 times 10 is 20 plus 3 times 2 is 6, so 26. This side 26, this side also 26. But we are just expressing in different way. And this way of expression, this is, is expanded form. So we are writing that expanding. And this is the factorized form. So this, we can, if you turn it to the, this is called factorized form. And this is expanded form, expanded form. So this is factorized form and this is expanded form. So basically, the factorized form is just opposite procedure of doing the expanded form or expanded form is opposite procedure of doing the factorized form. This is the simple form or simplest uh, like factor. What we are doing basically, we are taking the uh, common factor 2, which is called the highest common factor for these two terms. And then we are taking that outside and within the bracket, the rest of the numbers would be there. That's the factorized form. Okay, let's start with an example of an algebraic expression that we need to use the distributive law to make the uh, expanding. For example, we have 8 of x plus 1. If I ask you to expand it, again, we just need to use the distributive law. So 8 times x, which is 8x then 8 times 1, so which is plus, 8 times 1 is 8. So again, we are using the same concept here. Okay, so this is, we are expanding the bracket using distributive law. How about if we have two brackets in the system, like for example, 2 of x plus 3 minus 3 of 9x plus 7. Okay, then what we have to do? Again, we just need to expand again. So it's 2x, we will do the same thing, 2x plus 6, 3 times 2 is 6, then minus 3 times 9x. So 3 times 9 is 27 and then x, but you see that there is a plus actually here, right? plus 9x. So we have to when you multiplying, we have to consider the sign as well. So we have a plus and then minus here. So plus minus should be minus. And then 3 multiply with 7. So 3 7 is 21. Then plus minus will be minus. So this is very important and some students, they just forgot to multiply with the sign. They just multiply here. Okay, this is minus. 27x and they forgot to multiply this and they say oh, okay it's plus 21 but this is wrong we have to write down minus 21 because we have to multiply that plus with that minus but when it's all positive we don't need to pay extra attention because it's all positive so positive 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 so but whenever it's negative in the system it's better to pay extra attention so that you are not missing any sign in there now we just need to collect the similar terms. What I mean here, we have 2x and we have minus 27x. So if you 
collecting together it would be minus 27 plus 2x which is minus 25x and then if you adding this one and this one which is minus 21 plus 6 uh, leaves minus 15 so 21 minus 6 which is 15 and it's a negative because negative is the dominating here so minus 25x minus 15 but you can see here if I want to uh, tell you okay expand and that's what we did the expansion and then I ask you to simplify it means I'm expecting you are doing the factorizing and as I said factorizing in the simplified form so how to do the factorizing we have to find out the highest common factor so highest common factor is the maximum number that can divide both term here in this case there are two elements so both so you can see this is 25 this is 15 and we know that 5 can divide both but there is not not more than that any number more than that cannot divide both so 5 is the maximum number that can divide both another thing is when you have negative we always prefer that negative also taking as a factor out so then then inside will be all positive so i can write down first they say 5x plus 3 now you can see that minus 5 times 5x it would give you minus 25x because 5 5 25 5 times x uh, sorry 5 5 25 x and then if you do plus minus minus 3 times 5 is 15 so i am factor i am taking the minus out that's why that that both negative is getting positive and then i am dividing by 5 the inside part should be the divided by 5 because i am taking the 5 out and that's how we need to do the factorizing I am leaving two questions for the students to answer. If there is a similar type of question like maybe 3x minus 9 plus 2, 5 plus x. Uh, this is the question number 1. Question number 2, uh, maybe I am expecting student will do uh, 3x minus or 2x minus 5 minus 9 8 minus 5x or 8 minus 4x whatever so these are the two questions i am leaving for the students to answer you can even uh, write down the answer in the comment box and i will check it out if you get something wrong i will uh, let you know um, yeah and then if you want to get any particular problems need to be solved uh, please advise in the uh, comment box. I will try to solve it for you. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe and uh, uh, see the more updated videos.